Let the identification be there, stay with the presence, slow stay. it down. No, it won't stay. If the identification or the tendency to identify is recognized as uh, just some unfelt also, that it pulls the beingness into unpleasant states very often. For a while, no. For a while, we are in the spring of life, we enjoy. But at a certain time, it will start to bite, and it has to bite. And this bite is grace. It forces you to go more deeply into what is real. And as you, as the attention discovers more, the greater space of being, it will leave behind the fascination for the ego. And if attention is not feeding the ego itself, its power will be diminished. Its authority will be broken. And so gradually you will lose interest in that because something greater is come. When greater thing is come, then the old fascination is gone, finished. So it cannot be constantly there. If it's there, it's because a little investment is there. You see, a little investment is there, so then it, it keeps you sitting at the door waiting for you because it knows it's going to be fed, it's going to come. Yeah. And this can be a slow process also, of slowly letting go of it. Because sometimes we feel, okay, I'm finished. It's like a bad relationship. I am finished with you. <laughs> you go off. And then you start to think about it. Mm, maybe I was a bit hurried, really. So you send a little text, you know, to the ego. Okay, let's, let's have another go, or something like that. Some people can do it. Like I say, you, they can separate, like breaking a cracker, it's finished, done. And some is like separating pizza with lots of mozzarella, hot. Yeah. <laughs> Can't separate. So slowly it takes time to, to really you know, let go, because we're not sure we're doing the right thing. You're not sure, should I really get, I mean, really, let go of my attachment to the mind completely. Yeah. It's not so dramatic. More and more as you are discovering your own true self-love, the real self that is love, then what is not uh, true, what is not real, is easily let go of. It just you lose interest. Not you have to chop it or something, but you lose interest in that. And the voice is less near, it's more, more distant. Like it said, uh, sometimes even in the daytime you can see the moon when the sun is up. Sometimes the moon is there, but nobody pay attention to it because the sun is here now. <laughs> in the light of your own inner reality, the shallowness of the egoic mind is not appealing for you. So it will be felt like it exists, doesn't exist, you're not even concerned about it. Thank you. It's good like that. Then, if something more left, let's look. And uh, but don't go searching. The question comes: mm. What do I do? Ah. <laughs> the mantra of the mind itself. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Where there is only one place this question can be asked from, it cannot be asked from the place of the Self. The Self will never ask this question, so what should I do now? It is not a doing. The more we are in the, the, the dynamic um, identity, it's a very much a doing thing. Okay, I tried this. Okay, it didn't work. Well, now what do I do? 
So that's a kind of noise of um, mm, dissatisfaction somehow. So what should I do? But what you can do is to be aware of this, of this um, sense now. Okay, so well, what can I do? Who, is, who wants to find this out even? There are some people who really catches this question and feels the real power of it. Who is asking this question, you see? You believe it, so because you believe it, you have to follow it. But some knows immediately this question is just coming from the mind. You keep quiet. They know already that it just comes from the mind. I know. It comes just from the mind. Yes, yes. Uh, then is it not enough to know that? That it is the mind or does the mind still has so much uh, sex appeal? He snaps the finger, oh, I'm here at service, my Lord, we're ready to follow. Do you have any defenses? Do you have any immune system against your mind? That as soon as it lifts up, it, we are in service or what? So somehow it can only arise, only appear in the space of your being. You are the greater. You can exist without the mind, but the mind cannot exist without you, which is the greater. You see? So it, don't be afraid of its voice. You don't have to follow. There are some people, every time a thought arises in the mind, they react to it. That person is looking at you funny. Oh, which one? They, they, it's like they're, they're acting out their mind. But you're going to hear this coming, you know. Uh, it tells you, yes, you know, you're not, uh, you're not ready. You're not worthy. And oh, Oh, your meditation was so great this morning. Oh, yeah. It's only something in the air is not mind. I see this. <clears throat> I see it and I, I see it arising. What aren't I seeing? What? Why is, why, what aren't I seeing? Why isn't it enough? It is still coming with some um, identity still there and the identity cannot confirm that I am in total uh, satisfaction. Something is stirring it, itching. He it says, I can see that uh, when I leave everything, but I'm just a self. It's perfect, nothing wrong. But how can I stay in this place? So this question is being asked by that which is or by that which wants to be. Where, which one are you? You see, if you say, well, I'm the one approaching the Self, I'm able to enter Self and be completely at peace for a while. But somehow the, 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 the stirrings of my own tendencies or vasanas are so strong, I can't stay long, I have to go out again. So are you the one that comes in and goes out? Or are you that which is aware of the coming in and going out, but is not, is not the one that come in and go out? You must be clear about it. You then you say, sometimes I am not that which comes and goes, and sometimes I am. It feels as though I am. So you must contemplate it more and see. But what comes in and goes out is not self-weaknessing. Something observes the sense of coming in and out. So that cannot be in the bubble of the movement of coming in and out. So just you are confirming, then that sense I, where is its feet resting? In that which comes and goes or in that which cannot come and go? And if it cannot come and go, then I must be that. But it must not just be mental. You must confirm, verify. But it, I am the weakness of the coming and going. So therefore, I don't need to worry about what comes and goes. Something must come out of it. <laughs>